Welcome back to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Caleb. My name is Will. Thank you for tuning in, watching, or listening. Doing it, how you're doing it, where you're doing it. Kevin, I gotta be honest. I thought I'd break you. Did you? In that moment. With, with the... With the... Yeah. Yeah. Dang no, it. No, man. I'm uh, stronger than that. So... I'm also... No. Nah. Well, <laughs> I've tried. I've decided to play a mini game of trying to make Kevin laugh during the intro song. <laughs> because for those of you who don't know, which is 100% of you, we record... Through the intro song. Yep. So the audio is live. It'll pick us up if we make a noise. So yep. uh, that's a game we're playing. Fourth I didn't wall know we were busted. playing that, but I'm in. Oh, well, I'm playing it. it. Good luck. May the odds Thanks. be in your favor. Okay. With that, <laughs> uh, we're going to... Uh, we got a lot to talk about on oh, this episode. Oh, it's okay, jam-packed. So obvious thing we're gonna get this out of the way mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we will be talking about modern horizons for the majority of this never video. heard of her modern horizons who dat who's that uh anyway we are gonna be uh doing a giveaway on that as well uh yeah, and excited. all that stuff so get excited about that uh, make sure answer. you're subscribed all that jazz yada, but yada, yada. uh before we get into that we do have a couple of news items that we wanted mm, to mention as well yes also very quickly before we jump into the random card of the day uh, I just want to mention to you guys the reason that we're doing a podcast this week and we did not do one last week was because I was actually in South Korea. I did post about it on Instagram and things like that. Yeah, so yeah. you may have seen it there. Uh, we literally just couldn't record because I wasn't physically here. Right. Uh, kind of difficult to do. A little bit. Um, also going to mention really quickly because uh, we didn't have a couple crack packs this week. I've been sick. I got sick in Korea. He got not the, to complain. I'm just bug. telling you that's why we didn't really get anything up. So my apologies. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. No, no, no there's, it's, <laughs> I'll tell you at, at the end of the show. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, and I forgot to turn the light. <laughs> All right, Sweet. so let's jump into the random card of the day in go, three, go. two, one. Something good. Well, I, I've never seen this symbiosis. Card. So this is from Invasion. It's three and a green. It is a rare. Uh, you may. It's a sorcery. You may play it oh. uh, at any time. You can play an instant if you pay two more. Yep. Uh, two of any color and then you put a one one green sapperling creature token into play for each creature you control i feel like that's, that's okay. good yeah that's fine um i play i would play it in most green commander decks that go wide um yeah. oh yeah that'd i think be great yeah i think it's fine i have nothing bad to say about it that's its only home really uh, yeah i don't I, I mean limited maybe but like limited it would have been great yeah like can you imagine having a big board by turn well not even a big board if you have like three creatures by turn four yeah, you, you really don't it? need a ton. No. Like, you just need some, and then it becomes good. Then you have a bunch of chumpy dudes. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. Um, it's good. Sure. That's I, 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 it's just yeah. a decent card. Pat on the back. I'm nothing, okay with that. Nothing too complicated. Um, yeah. <laughs> You'd think, like, in any format other than Commander 6 for a lot of stuff would yeah. be a lot of mana. Yeah, yeah, For 1-1s. One one, um, but it's Commander, so. Yeah, in Commander, you do ramp. it every no matter what deck you're in almost you're always ramp so mana rocks galore yeah exactly so as well no i think definitely definitely commanders Mm -hmm. where this is at home 100 percent. agreed um cool i like it well thanks that was easy Uh, (laughs) good time man nice to have just an easy card to talk about um (laughs) okay news items let's knock them out wow okay cool stuff that was a great segue by the way london (laughs) mulligan rule (laughs) We're going to knock this one out. It is official, uh, I believe, as of Corset 2020, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't Uh, see the date. That might be incorrect. Fact check me. I don't know. But uh, I do believe this summer that's going to be instated. Mm -hmm. uh, That will be the official rule for all formats moving forward. Uh, I'm in favor of this. I'm happy about it. We've talked about this, so we're not going to harp on it very long. I think we both are in favor of it, so mm-hmm. I'm stoked. Mm-hmm. Uh, I Agreed. think that's going to be good. It's going to make decks a little bit more consistent, is my hope. Right, yeah. Um, um, the So, <laughs> uh, the big criticism, like the, the devil's advocate here for yeah. the the London being bad, um, is that it'll help make combo decks more consistent. Right. But what we see, in my opinion, um, and I, th- I think the numbers shake out on this, but that a lot of the combo decks are already consistent enough Mm-hmm. That they are tooled that way to be. I mean, ad nauseum has its ways to find its things. Yep. Storm, obviously a storm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. So the big combo decks are going to be able to find their pieces. They've always been consistent. Uh, what you have happen is players like LSV will lose to um, players who have not been around as much. Yeah. Just as, as an example, because of poor mulligans. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, so aggro decks being much more reliant on the top deck uh, yeah. will get a lot stronger from yeah. this. Um, 
Well, which, not only that, what? but uh, sort of an argument on the argument against mm. combo decks. Like, yes, especially game one, especially it does technically make them more consistent. The mm -hmm. ability to be more consistent is there, but it also, especially in game two, after sideboarding things like that, it gives the opportunity for the other deck to very Have easily find answer. the hate pieces. Right. So it's like, oh, yeah. it kind of shakes out evenly, in my opinion. I agree. Um, I and as long fine. as it makes the game more enjoyable for people, mm -hmm. I don't see a reason why this is a bad thing. Yeah, I think it's great. Magic's got to change. <laughs> um, it's got to evolve. So yeah, that's absolutely. just a good step, I think. I agree. Uh, next news item, really quickly. Again, another great segue. Netflix animated series whoop, whoop. will be coming out. Yes, it was just announced yes, a couple days yes, ago. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Not yes, only yes, are yes, we yes, excited yes, yes, because it is a Netflix mm, animated series yes, about yes, yes, planeswalkers yes, in particular, I guess is what they're saying. Yes, yes, yes. yes, uh, yes, yes. It's being directed by the Russo brothers. What have they done? The some, Russo brothers. Some uh, no name directors. It was some stupid movie. God, I don't even remember. It man. just doesn't. It it was dumb. Nobody liked it. Maybe I'll remember uh, when we're finished at the end game of this <laughs> podcast. I don't, that was good. I don't remember what it is right that now. That was good. All right. That yeah. was really was was good. That I like right? that. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, the Russo <laughs> brothers directed, I don't know if all, but definitely a lot Not of the all. Marvel movies. Yeah. Uh, Captain America, like Winter Soldier and stuff like that, all yep. done by them. Uh, end game, like you mentioned. Uh, yeah. But they're pretty good. They're pretty they good. They make some um, pretty good films. So I'm very, very excited. Uh, I honestly, yeah. when they announced originally, I didn't know that the Russo brothers were doing it. Mm -hmm. And I was like a little, I got a little cringy. Okay. Yeah. Because sure. you know what I mean, like because obviously it's exciting. Yeah. It's a new animated series. It's all about magic. Like people have been wanting this kind of thing this is the for first, a long time. It's the first like visual medium we've gotten. Really. Exactly. Yeah. And like that's been wanted for a very long time. Oh yeah. So, and I've wanted that for a very long time. Yeah, but yeah. you do because you have so much love and respect for the game. You're like, uh, but is it gonna be good? Because there's a really high chance it could be terrible. I, <laughs> like, I like that you said love and re you should be a politician. You said love and respect. Yeah, that was good. Right? I'm like. I know <laughs> most of the things that Wizards makes are shitty, well, so... Yeah. But <laughs> Other than the <laughs> cards. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much respect for how far they could fall. Notice I said love and respect for the game. Well, all right, Not right, all right. the supplement media. Uh, no, but... Mm. I mean, genuinely, you know, yeah, when yeah. there's, like, this new stream of media that comes out... I mean, it was the same thing with, like, Arena. And Duel okay. of the Planes, things like that, like new games that come out. It's like, okay, I hope it's going to be, be good, good, but yeah, will yeah. it be? And a lot yeah. of the time, Our track record's not great. It's not great. Right. And so... You're correct. My hope now is that with the Russo brothers directing all this, we've got That's a solid a, foothold that that should yeah. mean this might be good. Man, look at all the money Wizards is just throwing at Magic. They're like stepping it up. Th thank you, Kevin, for buying a million boxes of Modern Masters. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is all because of you me. are why we have the animated series. Me thank and you, Rudy you, just you, buying you. up everything. I was gonna no, say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, you know what it was? It was all a conspiracy. <laughs> oh yeah, Rudy is actually just me. Yeah, that's right. That's all that this is. This is yeah, it. Yeah. I'm alpha and beta. No, he, I can't. I can't do that. He shaves uh, for every every video. I do, and that's why I joke uh, about disliking Rudy so much. <laughs> There, there, there we are. go. That was a joke. Um, <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, regardless, to sum up, we are pretty excited about a lot of the changes. Linda Mulligan, real yep. happy to see that. Uh, very, very excited to see how this animated series goes. But yep. we come to the elephant in the room, which and is... what a sexy elephant. Oh, and we can see it just over the horizon. Um, Modern <laughs> Horizons is coming, guys. And we finally have that the full was my spoiler. Best elephant noise. <laughs> That's great. Um... <laughs> I do apologize. We did not get any content out on this as it was being spoiled. So that kind of sucks. This is the way it was meant to be. But that just means we're more hyped for this video. We have to have a longer video, but the greatest sacrifices require the strongest wills. So uh, good thing you work out, Kevin. You've not seen Endgame, have you? No, I that's haven't. a quote. From the game. <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, okay. First thing. First things first, set yep. as a whole, what do you think? Set as a whole. So I can kind of break it into two parts. Um, the first part is limited, which we, we uh, talked about a little bit before yep. the show. Um, I think it's going to be fine. I, I think it's going to be above average by like yeah, a good margin. The strength of the cards alone. Um, exactly. And, yeah. And most of the slots make it pretty, I think, give it a good <laughs> taste for being a really good limited format. Yeah, yeah. I'm like 
I'm fine. I love limited magic. It's going to be fun. Yeah. But there's not a ton to say about it. I mean, we have some tribe themes. We have a lot uh, of tribe themes. A few cycles. Just you, what you expect in, yeah, a, in, yeah. a, in a set of magic. Absolutely. So I think it's going to be good. Um, that being said, uh, <laughs> in terms of the set's impact on the formats, it's meant to impact. Whole oh, baby. There's been a lot of controversy on uh, whole oh, baby on this note. I will say. Listen, this set. I think is going to shake up modern in a big way. I hope it does. In a just a, a okay, big way. So great way. Before we go any further, uh huh. I'm gonna same thing you did. Limited format. I I agree with you. I think mm-hmm. it's going to be a very good. Mm-hmm. Personally, I think mm-hmm. it'll probably. I think I'm a little more hyped for it than you are in terms of limited. But yeah. I do think it's going to be good. I think there's a lot of powerhouse stuff in here. Obviously, those are only single cards, so you can't base the entire limited format off of them. But yep. tribal synergies, things like that, I think it's very, very lucrative because changelings are in here, which we'll talk about some of the oh, mechanics yeah. and stuff. That makes a lot of the tribes more useful, yeah. regardless of what you end up in. Like It just makes it easier mm-hmm. for the draft experience, so I'm pretty excited sure. about that. And then there are just a lot of powerhouse cards, obviously. So I do think it's going to be a fun one. Um, as far as constructed goes and like you said modern in particular i do think it's going to shake up the format and i started mm-hmm. to mention a point but you told me i wanted it raw you wanted it raw so <laughs> here we go <laughs> um, <laughs> i hate that you, yeah exactly uh okay so here's my opinion of it All right, i it. felt like when they announced modern horizons no cards were spoiled at right. this point well a lot of two, people i guess well, didn't two, we have? Yeah, that's fair. We had uh, Sarah. Not to and be like cabal therapist. Not to be uh, pedantic. Yeah, but it is what it is. Yes. Um, <laughs> man, we harped on that for no reason. Uh, regardless, we didn't have very many cards at all. Yeah. And the cards that were spoiled, cabal therapist, if any of them, I think has a pl- has a place. But I don't really know that Sarah does. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, Sarah's just fine. I think she's fine. Yeah, four mana planeswalker does some cool stuff, but it's not that. Like exciting. you, yeah, you wonder how good she's gonna be. Exactly. Yeah. But I th- I think a lot of people were expecting them with. I, I don't know if it was through reprints or through new cards, but mm. a lot of people I think were thinking we're gonna get like a bunch of just really powerhouse cards that are gonna entirely reshape new decks, all this stuff. Mm. I don't think we got that. I agree. I think we got a yeah, few. Yeah, I agree. I think we got a few, but that is not what we got. What we no. got were a lot of cards that will be now played in Modern without a doubt. 100% there are going to be a lot of cards played in Modern. Yes. But it's not necessarily to like reshape the, the format in terms of the Ooh. full decks. Ooh. I'm thinking these are to enhance or push decks a little bit, but kind of keep the same format that we've got. Uh, So... Other than I will say tribes, I think tribes has a I, has a whole new thing going on there, right now. There, there are several decks. So basically, this was a check on everything. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. There's a lot of a, hate stuff in here. In a big way. Hundred percent. The so there there's only one deck really that I see, <laughs> um, getting pretty strong, kind of coming up in modern in a way that yeah. it hasn't before. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's just Maverick. Honestly, yeah, neither the reliquary has already gone up, right? So, um. <laughs> Maverick, I think it just gets a lot better, which I'm stoked about. Actually, I like the Maverick deck, it's fine, yeah, it's yeah. great. Um, and Maverick, I mean, it's not as competitive in modern, it, it doesn't get as many of the things, it's a legacy uh, deck at this point, exactly. So, but everything kind of being checked a little bit, yeah, and Maverick being in the colors that it's in, I think helps it a ton. Green, yeah, yeah. okay, this is my, my tinfoil hat opinion, green <laughs> coming out. Of Modern Horizons looks so strong. Green does look good. Just yeah, okay. Yeah. So we'll ju- we'll just throw some cards around. Sure. You just want to start? Yeah, let's do it. Um, I want to talk about two cards first that I think are super good for green decks. Um, and one is just a sideboard card, which is really <laughs> funny. Uh, but here we go. Weather the storm. Ah. So interesting. So I saw this card and thought, okay, that's pretty cool. But I wasn't thinking yeah. like big picture, I guess, with this card. So here's what you get with Weather the Storm. Um, certain and also probably like half ad half of ad nauseum decks can't beat you. Yeah. Every storm deck can't beat you. Done. It's true. Is that true? Yes. 
Well, like, yeah, because what's their win? That's true. In modern, yeah, yeah, absolutely, he's gut shot. Yeah, yeah. Grape shot. Grape shot. Grape shot. It's grape shot. Guys. Fuck. It's grape shot. <laughs> anyway, but storm decks can't win. Yeah, because then you just play this after. You, and you right, go, yeah. and then every spell is just two life for you, basically. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, and then ad nauseum decks that win with the red spell, Kevin. Conflagrate. Is that it? No, that's not the one. No, I don't remember. It's the red one. Oh, <laughs> whatever. Couple green, it's red. <laughs> Is that it? I don't, I don't remember. Know. I know. I mean, I know what you're talking about. There's the, they deal the damage. Yes, they do the they damage. Deal, they do the damage. They do the damage a bunch of the times. Um, but you just get to copy every time that copy that spell, and uh, you you good. Yeah. And then they've drawn their deck, and they <laughs> lose. Yeah. Uh, which is fine. So whether the storm though, uh, <clears throat> is like should never really be main boarded. No. Because like green doesn't storm. <laughs> no. Green doesn't go off. No. And that's fine. Lanor elf. Lanor elf. <laughs> right. What are you gonna do? Really? Weather the storm. Uh. Right. <laughs> like, well, it's it's a fine card. It's perfect in sideboard. You only need a few copies. Well, let me ask you something. This is a very specific case. Go 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 go. go. Against a mono red deck, is it worth playing it? Yeah. I mean. Do you think so? It nullifies. I mean, it, it's just three life over their is lightning bolt. Speed? It is instant speed. Yeah. Yeah. I was just wondering. That's okay. fine. Yeah. I mean, I still wouldn't main board it, but I no, think I might oh, cite God, it in. No, no, absolutely right. not. But yeah. no, I was just wondering if you thought. Against Red Dick wins, why not? Cite it in. They I mean, go, it gains you at least like a turn or two, right? They go Goblin Guide, Goblin Guide, Lightning Bolt. You weather the storm. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Gained a couple life. Might have gotten a couple lands out yeah. of it. <laughs> I mean, so you're down what? Uh, seven, seven life, and you're up five life at yeah. that point. Yeah, yeah. That's that seems pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's solid. That's solid. Um, the other one is, is a biggie. Uh, it's kind of it's why I mentioned Maverick. Um, but the name I, I can't say. El Damari's call, I guess. El Hamrids. El Hamrids. No, dude. There's a D smack oh. dab in your face. Yeah, my bad. El Damrids. Eladramis. <laughs> She's calling. Ellie's <laughs> Ellie's call. Whatever. Uh the creature tutor? Yeah. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um I have a few issues with this and another card <laughs> being printed together making humans look so freaking good. Uh, yeah, okay. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, but this card alone. Um This it, is a good one. Yeah, it's your fix for anything, yeah. especially with Maverick. Yeah, yeah. Uh and depending on whatever deck you're against, you just get to tutor up your answer for it. Um, it's going to help shut down Trog if you go get Teague. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to help you find your uh, your mana fixing with your um, your exalted one, one, what the hell? Noble Hierarch. Thank you, Noble Hierarch. Is it a one, one, or a it's one? A zero, two? three, or something. Or a zero. It's a zero, something. God, I'm dumb, guys. I'm not on top of these cards like I normally do. This am. is your whole job. Yeah, I know. I suck at it. Um, no, it's fine. Um, <laughs> but a be careful that can pull out. Oh shit, that's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the tutor though is a big deal, um, especially for humans, man. Yeah, uh, I think that that's not spell hierarchy. It's fine. I think <laughs> <laughs> humans looks great. really, 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 really strong coming out of that, and that kind of scares me. Yeah, I kind of a like little bit. That humans is so good. That's right. Zero, zero one. one. Cool. Um, no, and there's. Another big card that'll I'll talk about in a second that makes humans look even better. There's another Maverick card in here too, the new Mother of Runes. Right. Uh, yeah. I think that the she's good Mother enough to get played still. You do? I do. Yeah. I don't know. Um, she's fine. She's it just does so well five. against like a Grixis control list, like against like it might be sideboard, but like against uh like a Death Shadow deck where they've got a lot of like fatal pushes and stuff like that. You just you just play the new mother of runes you know what like it seems perfect yeah they've got i mean okay. grixis always just has targeted removal it's i mean it has a couple sweepers i'm sure but like it's yeah. generally speaking a lot more of the like fatal pushes cast downs if you're in standard but That's like true. that kind of a thing you know what i mean and so like being able to fog a turn uh, in terms of like if they try if they use all of their mana to try and kill one of your spells yeah. and you can nullify that that's great. You know yeah. what I mean? I okay. mean, that seems fantastic. Fair. But, I mean, it is a fixed mother of runes. It's not mm. as good. But it's still good. I see you, though. <laughs> I, I suppose you're right. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other card that'll make humans stupid. Yeah. Or uh, <laughs> Unsettled Mariner. Humans and spirits, I'll say. 
Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Which I'm stoked about, actually. I like Spirits, so I'm kind of... On the rise. That. Spirits is on the rise. Yeah. I don't think Spirits gets worse, except for one one card will hurt it, but it'll hurt all creature decks, and it's... Oh, so good. Um, But before <laughs> that, I'm, I'm excited. I'm jumping all around. But Unsettled Mariner. Uh, changeling Shapeshift for 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you are permanent control, it becomes a target of a spell or ability an opponent controls. Counter that spell or ability, unless this controller pays one. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll say this. Why not? It's good against certain decks. It's useless against certain decks. Uh, which ones? Anything that runs a sweeper against humans, this does nothing. Right, but... And sweeper is generally the way you kill humans. Um, yes, but those decks also have removal. They do have removal. I mean, so it like, does shut down that side of things, but that's like... That's the thing. It makes them have to play the sweeper, which they will right, play the sweeper. They will play the sweeper. <laughs> but they don't... I mean, they don't get to just pick yeah. apart your board that's for fair. free I, it does it does slow that down a little yeah, bit yeah. i mean fair. think how good thalia is yeah right yeah, yeah yeah. i mean this is this is thalia in modern yeah humans which i guess she could be but she's <laughs> not they don't play her no i wonder why <laughs> anyway <laughs> uh it's way better for spirits which is already a more controlling list yeah yeah, yeah. um Unsettled Mariner looks kind of kind of scary for them. Yeah, a little bit. Kind of good. Um, there was good. okay. So something that I want to note, uh, really importantly here, a lot of really interesting hate cards. So Gaia's Guile, mm. Kaya's Guile, Kaya's Guile, Gaia's, Gaia's Guile, Guile. <laughs> Gaia's Guile. I was thinking sure. Guile's Guy. Oh God, <laughs> Gaia's Cradle. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, anyway, things like this, things like the uh, Archmages, whatever. I can't uh, the it. three the blue, three blue that yeah. has like three abilities. Many, many. Um, there it is. Archmages uh, charm. Cryptic command. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm slow on the names today, guys. Uh, but cards like this, yep. these are gonna like single handedly put a lot more like brew decks mm -hmm. into contingency i think because this is going to give the ability for flexibility in any kind of deck if that makes sense so like how do you mean black white tokens for kaya's guile good i think i said it correctly you did Congrats. black white tokens now becomes more resistant against a lot of things which is a huge issue for the tokens mm. deck okay. because they just die to sweepers things like that okay this at least gives you a little bit more flexibility against some of the decks out there and more powerful creatures, things like that. They have to sacrifice a creature. Uh, you can create more tokens with it. You can gain some life, so it gives you a little bit more options against like faster like mono red decks, things like that. Okay. I also think cards like this encourage brewing because there's built-in flexibility with just the colors. Or like general. there's value to be had on all, all ends. Exactly. Like if you're in black white, you can just now play this. This is a card that you run to give that flexibility, but then you can also kind of take that in further directions and do some other stuff with it. And I'm kind of stoked to see cards like that. That's all I was going to say. Okay. Yeah, I dig it. That was a very long explanation for a very simple point. Well, no, I think you're right. I mean, I like Kai's Guile. Um, I think, and we talked about it before, any spell that has options like that, yeah, uh, you really love. And you'll, yeah, yeah. you'll end up using all of them at some point. Yeah. I promise you, even the you gain four, which is easily the worst there. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Against Mono Red. Um, right, exactly. <laughs> Um, okay, this is another card that I think bears mention. Uh, oh, yeah. Ren and Six. So this card is, I I don't think it's being talked about enough. Um, I think it's probably the sleeper for one of the best and most impactful cards in the set. Really? That's bold. Look at its minus one. Deals one damage to any target. Yeah. How often do people play Noble Hierarch or Birds? That's fair. It's two mana. Yeah. So you're immediately taking them off their Noble Hierarch yeah, or yeah. their birds, sticking another like impactful spell. It's a yeah, Planeswalker it's a long -term at two. Planes yeah. And it's not only a Planeswalker at two, it's a good Planeswalker. Um, yeah, finally we got a good Planeswalker at two. <laughs> if you're playing around, it's plus one. If you're, being, if you're, if you're allowing yourself, like, uh, giving yourself reasons to put lands in the yard yeah it's plus one's relevant yeah which is awesome well not only that but in modern it's a i mean fetch lands right so at the very least you have fetch land you know what like yeah you, so recurring you're gonna fetches. start hitting your recurring fetches you're gonna start getting yeah. the value even just off of that yeah um it it puts 
Uh, it puts Jund back in the conversation for being the premier, like... Mid-range? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, being able to check humans a lot. It does a fairly good job against humans, yeah. I would right. definitely agree. Um, you you're able to stay on top of their board a little bit when they're when their uh champions are still small right. yeah, et cetera, yeah, yeah. stuff like that nuke them before they get big right you can <laughs> take out snapcasters before they can before people can bounce them back that's not yeah, humans yeah. but you yeah, know yeah. uh it it's a check on just a lot of creatures in that way you just run this and a bunch of like gut shots and stuff like that and just ping your opponents to <laughs> them. So, like that'd be hilarious <laughs> super viable <laughs> yeah exactly um, <laughs> then you just stick an Emmer cool and cast fling. You can't protect from instance, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love that. Though. <laughs> right. Wouldn't that be funny? Um, no, I I agree. I so when I saw this, I was pretty impressed. Not only because it is a two mana planeswalker, and we haven't seen that since Tabalt. <laughs> right. We all know how that went. Um, <laughs> but this is a relevant two mana planeswalker. I do think that mm-hmm. the plus one is viable. No, literally, no matter what deck you're in, you're gonna have fetch lands most likely. Yeah. There are very few that I can think of, at least, that don't run fetches. So you'll right. be able to get some value off of it there. Uh, the minus one, I didn't realize was so impactful, but I do think you're right. I think Noble Hierarchs, Birds, uh, Snapcasters, anything like that, yep. which tend to be played, I mean, they're in a lot of the decks, the yeah. high percentage of decks. So you're gonna have targets for that. And if you don't, hit the player. Why not? Right? Like it, it, it hits any target, so yep. it's fine regardless. Um, even in a burn deck, you can stack that with like a mm-hmm. bolt or something sure. and deal with bigger stuff. Yeah. But. I do think there there are times when Ren and Six is not going to be a good play. Yeah. Um, but against some of the premier decks right now. Agreed. Uh, I think you're, Definitely you're looking agreed. good. Dark Confidant, shoot, it kills that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, solid. Dark Confidant doesn't get played very much anymore, does it? Not a ton, no. Now that Jund is out, humans, but not very often. No, I think it's kind of a judgment call. Yeah, dark confidant. It is. Um, uh, there are plenty of callbacks to older cards, um, that aren't as good. Umizawa's Charm. Yeah, for instance. Uh, Pondering Mage is a uh, <laughs> ponder, which I think is hilarious. Um, so funny. <laughs> But there are a lot of like, there's new deranged hermit. Mm-hmm. There's new, like we said, now okay, new, new deranged hermit. New deranged hermit's good. N- yeah, not bad. No, I'm fine with that. They literally just stuck vanishing three on it, which, and took away echo. You right. know what I mean? So it's like, well, that's fine. <laughs> like, I'll happily Sold. take that. It never lives more than three turns anyway. So <laughs> I'm like, kind of. I'm on the fence as to whether that's better than original deranged hermit. I know. I was kind of. I was kind like, of thinking. Uh, uh, kind of on the fence on yeah. that one. Uh, I like, uh, let's see, Tribute Mage completing the trio for the Artifact Mages for mm. 1, 2, and 3, mm. uh, which I think is kind of interesting. I'm kind of hoping that there's some like weird jank combo deck out of this that you can get yeah. Artifacts at 1, 2, and 3 that do some stupid thing together. Um, uh-huh. Just because we now have all the mages for it. Uh, the Vesper Lark, heading, uh, back for Revel Arc. Right. Um, what were... Oh, Foff being back yep factor fiction being uh, in. cool that's pretty so this was a little bit of a like mm. weird call for me i okay. don't know if this is good yeah in I, was, I was in the same i was in the same boat i don't because is it good because we we have the history of it being good and that's why we think it will be or is it like kind of just bad in modern <sighs> yeah um i'm not certain I don't know that it's. I mean, it's not at its strongest. Obviously, no, it's weaker than Legacy, so not. we can't we can't talk about it with that. Um, but you think about the decks that want to play it that are going to play it. I mean, control decks are going to use it, right? Because it's I don't know. Speed. It's instant speed. So, so you just like, kind of get to have it for free, yeah. sort of. I don't know because turn four is so big <clears throat> for modern, and this pause. Uh, this set didn't really do anything in my mind to address that fact. No. Like making I agree. turn four less relevant, which I don't believe was something that they needed or wanted no, to no, fix. No, no. Um, it just, it's kind of the litmus test for the strength of cards in my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, just kind of think, when, it, how close is it to turn four if it's close closer to that? Is its power yeah. enough? You know, stuff like that. Whatever. Um, so with it being four mana, the decks that will play Factor Fiction is, I mean, Cryptic Command to me is just better. 
that well okay you know, yes and no though right like so if they play something and you have you want to counter it yes absolutely it's 100 yeah. percent better no doubt about it if they have a threat on board that you need to bounce it's more flexible in that mm. regard however on the draw end of things fof is way better you look at five huh. cards they yeah. split it into two piles and you get to pick whichever one you want yeah you know what i mean like that notoriously you don't normally want to give your opponents any kind of choice sure but like in the case Card of factor fiction it's like yeah it doesn't really matter <laughs> you pick whatever you want right you know what i mean so it's yeah. like i i don't know i mean storm will play it right mm, i don't know modern storm mana might know? be too expensive too much? for storm hmm. even with like cost reduction effects and stuff like that like baral or electromancer uh yeah i don't think that because generally speaking baral and the electromancer they don't stick well the phoenix will play it you think yeah phoenix probably definitely plays it oh that's a good one i didn't really even think of phoenix but yeah 100 yeah, percent, phoenix would play it uh set it up on your opponent's turn and then be able to oh right oh that feels good um, <laughs> <laughs> guys i might be playing phoenix um anyway yeah i was just i thought that was an interesting include because obviously this is the first we're seeing it in modern um and i'm interested to know. see how it pans out i just That's don't all. know um i don't think that it'll get played as much as it is in no. its other formats god no um absolutely not uh but i do think it might have a place we'll say yeah um, i'll give you i'll give you my where is that's so like vague um so Mirrodin Besiege, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Is oh, this just, I just saw this. Is this just Commander Fluff or Yeah, I think so, right? Like or, uh, when it enters the battlefield, you choose or, either Mirin or Phyrexian. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a one one. Don't even worry about that. No, that's dumb. I think if you're in step, draw a card, then discard a card. Uh that's the one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> then if there are fifteen or more artifacts. Oh that's the one, baby. No, this is jank deck all all over. <laughs> Right, like there's no way. target opponent loses the game. Like anything that has like you win the game, oh, you baby. lose the game. People are gonna build. Heck yeah, hundred percent. People Heck are yeah. gonna build, and there might be a way to make this good, but it's gonna, it's gonna be. I could see you could really all in and really Ooh. jank. I don't think that it's that good. It just gives a clock to lantern. Yeah, right. it does give a clock to lantern. If you got the lock, just start drawing hand pigeon <laughs> stuff. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Have a win more card. There Why you not? go. Congrats, um, lantern. I like this one. Merit Lage's slumber. Merit Lage is back. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm wondering if this replaces like thing in the ice. I forget if that's right. Oh no, it doesn't. Um, is it too slow? It's a snow permanent specific <laughs> card. Yeah, but like you just run snowlands. What's it? Well, okay, but then you get to turn 10. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> like, um. <laughs> so the question really that should be asked is, are, is the snow deck a deck? Uh, they're pushing it really hard to be one. Yeah. Um, I don't think that it's necessarily good enough, though. I don't know either. I don't know if uh, there, I don't know there's enough. Um, I think Scred Red got better. There was a couple red cards that are dependent on snow mm -hmm. that, like, go in scred red like 100 percent. that deck might become a new like not new but like a resurgence of the scred red stuff hmm. um because scred in itself was dependent on snow permanence anyway so like that just makes it even better um that being said uh i don't know if snow a snow deck of like its own volition is going to become good or not i just right. don't think that there's enough uh, not enough powerful stuff there's enough like there's okay support but it's not great um, this is probably their bomb, right? Yeah, like Merit it has Lages to Slumber. be. It's it their winniest, winniest card. Yeah. Um, but you do get other stuff like where'd she go? She's the uh, spooky snake. Um, oh, the the blue green. Yeah. 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 Ice Fang. The Kodal. new uh, baleful Strix. Right. Terrible baleful Strix, but baleful. Strix. I mean, I won't say terrible. <laughs> it's not nearly as good in my well, opinion. Well, but it's baleful Strix, so. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. I'm comparing. Shut up. <laughs> it's got. It's got flash. That's great. Good. <laughs> it's, this is a good card. Um, it is a good card. I will say that. Yeah. So in the snow deck, especially it's great. Um, not in the snow deck. I don't, I mean, these colors don't really, yeah. Wouldn't, I wouldn't really, the, the deck blue green. There's not really a strong blue green right now. Not that modern. I can really think. Of right. Them, I think snow gives those colors an option 
sort of like this boy, the tree folk. Yeah. But like the thing <laughs> is, if you're playing the snow deck, you dedicate your entire land base. We'll say to snow. snowlands. Like every turn, you get scarier and scarier. Fine, you get closer yeah. to your merit lage. This tree folk dude gets bigger. There's other things that take mm-hmm. up for your snow permanence. It's not like there's potential. Early game, I don't think you're that scary. You're pretty weak. Yeah. Um, I mean, humans just outpowers you, outpaces you. Yeah. Like in two, like in a few you turns, get two turns better. of no yeah. interaction against humans, and it's right. like, you all right, you don't get to goldfish <laughs> against humans. Really, humans <laughs> is, is too. Uh, I mean, sets themselves up to be good. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're a nauseum, then you goldfish everybody. Yeah, well, uh, dead of winter fun. though is an interesting uh, right <clears throat> this sweeper is for that. Which I think is interesting. Right. That's the thing is. Like uh, it has pieces. I just don't know that it has enough pieces. We just have to see it played. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think that's all that it amounts to. Um, I do kind of want snow to be a thing. I don't care. <laughs> I like the snow stuff. I think that's cool. I think it's weird. I mean, it was from like Ice Age. So right, of course I think it's, it's weird. snow stuff. But like, <laughs> yeah, but I just think it's weird. Um, I want to talk about Flusterstorm. I'm moving off of snow. All right, do it. I want to talk about Flusterstorm uh, because everybody was so like, man, there were a lot of speculations on what yeah. counter was going to be put in Modern Horizons. And we talked about this because uh-huh. we were like, it's not going to be Counterspell. It's not going to no. be Force of Will. No. Of the two, maybe Counterspell, but definitely not mm-hmm. Force of Will. There's no way. Right. Yeah. Um, we'll also talk about Force of Negation. We'll, we'll get talk to about that. all the forces. But the first like big counter spoil was Flusterstorm. Yeah. How do we feel about Flusterstorm? I like it being in modern because it's a it's a check against storm. Yeah. Well, it's a check against storm and other combo decks. It's anything that like yeah, yeah. Anything that combos off. Yeah, yeah. Um E Flusterstorm, everything on the stack. So, okay. I just I don't know how I feel about it yet. That's all. I like I, I like it for that. It's sideboard <laughs> alone. It doesn't really hurt any other deck no, in a doesn't. big way. No. Right? It's um, useless against a lot of decks. I, I mean, think. it counters a spell. <laughs> yeah, but cool. I mean, it's generally pretty easy to pay that extra one. Um, if there's not, you know what I'm well, saying? I mean, or two. There's, but I mean, it's like two. Spell Pierce comes along, right? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and Spell Pierce is played. Yeah. Not as not as often not as in often modern, anymore, but, like, but like, yeah. I, I just, I, I think it, I mean, like you I'm said, it's great it, against combo decks, but like, yeah. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I feel like it's an interesting include. I'm interested though to see how much it actually gets played in modern, because like you said, mm-hmm. I think it hits combo decks very, very well, but I also think there are a lot of options that hit combo decks really well. So like, is this, I think it's better okay. probably, yeah. but like, I don't know for sure. Um, um, okay. I'll give you that. Uh, just because like, it's super efficient. And right. It's super, super good at that. But like, there are also other. Th- I mean, Spell Pierce is great against combo, not against Storm combo, but against right. like single card combo. Spell Pierce has been great. I don't. True. <laughs> you true. know what I mean? And like, but there's. I, I think I think Flusterstorm, I think is, Flusterstorm just is just as good or better. Just re- replaces Spell Pierce in most cases, but. Um, is it non-creature or target spell? I don't. Uh, instant or sorcery. Okay. But Spell Pierce same way. Is it not spell? Uh, I think it's non-creature spell. I'm looking. I forget. I am looking. Uh, talk about Force of Negation, though. Okay, so we'll talk about all the forces. Um, I'll rank mine first. Yeah, it's I non-creature think spell. Is it non-creature? Okay, so I think that's actually <laughs> better than Spell Pierce. I don't think it replaces Spell Pierce. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, because, I mean, that Non-creature hits more. Right, Planeswalkers, planes Artifacts, but, like, Enchantments, yeah. things like that. So I think Spell Pierce is probably better. Okay. Um, For the broad net yeah, yeah obviously yeah. you know if they're storming <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do um okay uh but the forces so the forces for me uh my favorite goes despair negation uh i think white green red i'm trying to remember red's your least favorite yeah no sorry it's green white red um Right? Is this the dude that... No, it is white. I lied. I keep forgetting what the other three do because they're shit. But <laughs> it is... It does go like, white, green, red for I'm me. I'm weirdly optimistic about all of these. You're, is that terrible? Yes, it is. There okay. are three very, very, very bad ones. <laughs> I know. But, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and make an argument for each one. Are we ready? This is going to be awful. 
counter everything I say and it's fine. All Force right. of Virtue. Okay. White Weenie is the only place I could ever see it played. Yes. Um, but I think it would be kind of fun to surprise out an anthem effect. I think you could get some very interesting plays out of that, but I don't think that that makes it good necessarily. I just think that that's... Remember, every play is on their turn with these cards. So, I mean, true. So but it's not like... If they're swinging in with like... Yes. So humans, against a, So against a token deck... Yeah, your tokens are better. Exactly. These are all super narrow cards, I think. Um, not despair. Despair is great. Uh, okay, yeah, fair. Not despair. Although it does absolutely nothing against combo decks. So any creature deck, yes, but any other kind of deck, I don't think it's it's worth it at all. Well, yeah, but like the force of rage doesn't do anything either. Force of rage. Like, the only place I could see force of rage working. I can't. I can't in really. Any deck. But like the only thing I could. I think it could take a turn off of the clock for a red deck wins. You mean like against red deck? No, no, no. You play it in red deck, but like it's not. No, because it's during their turn. It's, yeah. No, what do you never get? mind. I'm yeah. wrong. I'm sorry. Rage is, rage rage is, really is the worst. Yeah, rage sucks. I Man, wish if the, it was during your turn. I though. know. I wish they just changed that clause for yeah, this one card. Yeah. I think for if they had changed it, this card is instantly one instantly like, pretty, top three yeah pretty great maybe better than uh despair maybe or not despair negation maybe i think negation's good but like not incredible well like it's narrow right so it's counter non-creature spell exile yeah. it like i mean it's good it's fine it's very yeah. good but only at that one thing well, right um which That's is fine thing. yeah sideboard in my opinion force of negation potentially main board against some like i think it's a great card to have like two copies of that's my main like board. you don't want a full package of it but like yeah. one or two of maybe yeah um force of vigor 100 percent sideboard uh yeah but well I, I don't even know if you because there's so many other cards that do that there are a lot of other cards but they're <sighs> you don't get to cast them for free that's my thing so. like you get to cast this for free and it hits yeah. two which for free oh, hitting boy. two that's pretty good um, I mean, uh, yeah. Again, I'm trying to play like devil's advocate a little no, bit. No, I know. Here, but like, she was nice, but I just think that there's more efficient ways to do it. I mean, there's other things like nature's claim is good because it's very, very efficient. Instant speed only costs one green, which is obviously more than this. But yeah. uh, you also gain four life, yeah. which is kind of nice against a lot of decks. Heck yeah. <laughs> Though that being said, against the decks that are running artifacts and enchantments, the life doesn't really matter. It, the so life much. isn't unless it's like uh, affinity or something. But True. like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I don't know. I I was against affinity. I think it's pretty solid. Yeah, but, against affinity, it's great. But um, I'm not convinced. It's no, I'm not convinced. It's awesome. I was trying to be optimistic about these, and it's just not working. Yeah, vig vigors. Uh, I do like despair. Despair is good. Despair is great. Yeah. Um, no, despair is great. Yeah, I I agree. It's dope. Against creature decks, it's fantastic. It's I, amazing. Do you? It's amazing. Can you main deck it? Yes, and I will. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you really love this card. I love it. All it's right, it's so good. good. It's so all the creature decks that we're seeing now. Yeah. That like think about what this does to Court of Calling and freaking uh, that other one. Humans is what I'm thinking of. Well, sure. Humans, Court of Calling, and what's <laughs> oh my god! I always do this. It's not Cord. It's that other one from Dragons, Cons. Oh, uh. You get two things. Oh, son of a bitch. I know. It's three and a green. <laughs> you yes, look it at the is. top, like four. Yeah, you do. You do that. God, mother fucking Coco. Damn it. And. It's Coco. I mean, Collected Company. Yeah! Ugh, finally. Got one. It just is like, that's a cute Collected Company, which is a card people talked about needing to be banned for a while. There's Although a it's not despair. been played a lot recently. Uh, <laughs> that I, I mean, of. humans does play it, but I think every, they lean towards Aether Vial more. Every and that's another thing. <clears throat> yeah, you can't counter Aether, Aether Vial spells, and they come in for free. Yeah, force it's great of despair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So all of these creature decks are pumping out extra creatures. Yeah. Right. Um. It's also correct me if I'm wrong. Gets around like hexproof. It's just destroy yeah, creatures. It's it doesn't just target. destroy all creatures. There's no target. Excellent. 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 Uh, but uh, I mean, good against boggles. What's up? Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Um, but all of these decks are cheating out extra creatures with yeah. uh, 
with collected they're company. trying to get to two creatures per turn as quickly as possible sure is the sometimes idea. even more red decks <laughs> yeah. if if they've got creatures to yeah. cast throw them in there um experimental frenzies being played in modern here and there i think yeah, it's on the rise it is if they get to pump out a bunch of creatures yeah if this hits more than one thing dope all i had to do is pitch a black card to do it yeah sweet yeah, yeah. i kill two st- it's old. i think this gives things like hand destruct like if you if you're playing this is an extreme example like okay. eight rack for instance or okay. you get like tons of discard spells and stuff like that you've now discarded their hand but they or no that no i'm we try i'm say. thinking we and try trying say. i'm wrong again guys i'm wrong <laughs> all right <laughs> never mind it's fine uh i think for i think force of despair is good enough to be board for sure yeah um i agree a wit uh, though i'll say devil's advocate with all of these force cards there are times when they're not going to be a good play yeah. yeah i understand that yeah yeah but well, you just man. don't run play sets i don't think you run play sets of any of the main board no i don't think Force so of either despair, i could want a play set of I don't between think. main board and sideboard oh yeah sure 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 um force of negation maybe yeah no i think you can split it two two you think so i think so because i mean if if you're up against your combo decks yeah you want uh, force that's of negation, fair. right um force of vigor no <laughs> I, <Yeah. laughs> and the other two probably maybe in the not sideboard really worth maybe mentioning. it doesn't Vigor doesn't feel efficient enough, but maybe in like practice, I feel it like it would be. feel really good to be able to force a vigor two things. I, I feel think like that's good. I think that's giving the those decks a lot of credit. Like, it's a good check, but you won't. What am I trying to say here? Um, it's just a way to lose less to me. If you have two targets with force of vigor, the decks I think that will give you those targets are already better than you like they're already beating you uh i'll say yes but this can dig you out of that sure it helps Do you see what i'm saying it helps. because like if yeah. they've played out these two cards then obviously yeah, yeah. they're down two cards in their hand or for you know what i'm saying like sure. they're down cards and so they and may not be able to rebuild is like what i'm thinking it's their um <laughs> it's their ravager or yeah i mean you take or whatever. hardened scales it kills kind of hard scales but annihilates hardened scales yeah but but yeah i mean you know what i'm mm. like I do think it's a bit of a corner case, but I sure. think that in that corner case, I think Force of Vigor yeah. may be better than some of like most of the other options. Okay. Um, yeah, but again, that is a corner case. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so the Force is mostly disappointing, but yeah, it is not it. Oh, did you do you care about Future Sight at all? Being here? no, not even a little. Yeah, I don't think Future Sight is good enough in modern. No. Yeah, absolutely not. Jank though. Um, yeah, jank builds are gonna go ham. So the other one, Ranger Captain of Eos. Oh yeah. Again, new, humans. New, new. Here you go. <laughs> humans. What is this? <laughs> this I don't know. Humans Horizons. Basically. Kind of. Um. Yeah. I'm not. Gosh. I mean, I don't. I'm not happy that humans is getting such a big buff, but I do like Ranger Captain of Eos. He's good. Yeah. 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 He's great. He's very good. I don't. I just don't know. What the answer? Oh, whatever. Um, um, Hex Drinker is something I'm interested in. Hex Drinker, I am so <laughs> on the fence about Hex Drinker. I'm on the fence a little bit, but I have high hopes, is what I will say. It just um, it has the potential to flop so hard if you can't get it, per, give it protection like immediately. Yes, you know. However, it's like even late game, like early game, late it's a dope. two one for one. It's fine which that's is fine. fine if you level it up a few times that's good with all the extra mana i don't think i think the wrong way to play this would be to play it on turn one mm-hmm. and then just start sinking every resource you can into this yeah i they'll think just you wait before either you... play it early yeah except the fact that it's probably not going to live long enough to give it protection to everything or you wait play it late game and then be able to level it up as soon Immediately as possible and just Do you see it... what i'm saying but yeah. it becomes a usable card it's usable in more spots but it's also mm-hmm. a bomb in itself if you can do it th- in that late game okay do you see what i'm saying yeah um yeah so and to- it effectively blocks against a lot of the stuff in red deck wins if not mm-hmm. everything and uh i mean it trades i'll say it did not it's well, not I mean- gonna eat anything but it will trade off a lot um and it's it does block most of humans i want to say no no it does um (laughs) if you like that that's the thing if you level it up yeah like to me it's a it's a card kind of like 
in the same vein as, as Kai's Guile that gives you options. Yeah. An early beater for two, one, for one. Okay, sure. Uh, or my mind is if I can't play it turn one, turn two, I'm not playing it. You hold it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because a 4-4 four, four pro everything, I mean, I'm mean, i sorry, pro instance at that point is yeah, pretty yeah. good. That's and pretty then good. pro everything is <clears throat> 6-6 six, six later. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Um, but yeah, with uh, Fatal Push. That's like this, the hard thing is Fatal Push kind of wrecks it. Yeah. If um, Fatal Push and Bolt, if I don't if I don't have protection from instance, I, I, I think it's bad. Um, Interesting. I, I don't know. I, I won't say bad. I think not good enough to play. Okay. That's fair. I think that's fair. Um, I do. Because, like, think about this. Any card in green that you're going to play that would die mm-hmm. to bolt or push, it's coming in and giving you something. <coughs> yeah. Like it's an ETB or... Mana. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Right? With it not doing that, if it won't stick around past removal, it's not really worth the mana yeah i mean that's fair. to me um thankfully it only costs one um that's the thing super efficient <laughs> that's it's very efficient almost as cheap as you can get uh two cards that i'm really just happy got cards but also i think one of them is very very good uh urza and yagma yes which uh, one do you think is very very good i think urza is sweet you don't think yagma's good i think yagma's good 100 percent. i think the discard and proliferate thing can go pretty ham yeah. and i also think as a sack outlet there's a lot to be had there right um i just think urza, urza's pretty sweet that's all <laughs> i really but i, I like so, them both a lot so i mean this is unlimited card draw if they've got um what's the thing that gives them undying Plus some, plus some counters. Yes, right. It is. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that becomes an Abzan deck, and then you can draw a bunch of cards until you need your them. Deck. <laughs> Although, right. does this deck need, or does that deck need card draw because it has infinite Scry? Uh, I mean, Scry is fine, but it doesn't give me the cards. No, no, no. But it, it does, it, there's some way that you get With to Vistra walking Seer. Ballista like immediately, and then you can do it once you get the the combo out, Why like already. Saying? And I what don't remember. Saying? What are you saying? I'm saying you can win already without card draw in that deck. And Abzan? No, 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 no. I'm talking Vizia Seer. The, the Vis- Vizia Seer. Okay. Vizia Seer, whatever. And yeah, then yeah, the Vizier yeah. of uh, Remedies. whatever. Remedies. Vizier of Remedies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With uh, the elf, Devoted Druid. Yeah, yeah. There's Gizm. a combo in there with a card from Shadows? Or Eldritch Moon? I think it's Eldritch Moon. Uh, that because that generates an infinite mana you get infinite look at the top of your deck and then there's like a pull a creature card or something there's some effect in there that lets you get ballista if you can get that combo out already and like you don't need card draw so or to splash another color we'd have to have black not in that deck yeah, you that's do. already a deck no you need vicious here oh I see oh damn <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm trying to think. I don't know the win a, you're talking about because the win there's a ballista win. The well, the win I'm I kn- thinking of something else. The I win know. I know of 100 percent is the um, Madcap, right? Well, yeah, the I mean that two. does it too. But that's right. That was shied away from because you can do infinite mana into ballista. Oh, it does get infinite mana. That's yeah. right. And then you just make a big ballista, but yeah, you have yeah. to have ballista. Oh. Oh, it's the it's the werewolf dude from Shadows yeah. that yeah, finds yeah. you your ballista for three. We're so off topic, but yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I haven't looked at this deck in forever. I it's, loved that deck for a little while. Yeah, it's it was sweet. I mean, it wasn't it's, great. It's but. just Malira Pod without Pod. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly um, what it is. And Coco, I think instead. Right. In a lot I of ran cases, Coco most of the time. Um, um, which does give you a way to get the Seer without. Mm-hmm. Need, I mean, I'm sure you still run black mana, yeah, but like, you need black 100. percent Yeah, yeah, 100. percent Shut up. Um, Especially if you have the mad cap because you don't run red. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> uh, I don't think they run mad cap anymore though. Nah, probably not. I think not. you just ballista. I think it's more efficient though because you still you need more cards for the ballistic combo. You mm, yes, but you can coco into every combo piece except, except for ballista. For, Except for Ballista, but you can't Coco into Madcap. But Coco can whiff. Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying cons- it makes it more consistent. I suppose. To get those, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you suppose. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I suppose. 
let's fight about this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Yagmoth, right? Uh, yeah. Very good card, regardless. Yeah, uh, I don't think that. Card. I think that's just an interaction you can do. I don't necessarily think that you put it in that deck. No, I, don't um, think so. <clears throat> I like that as pro humans. That makes it a buff, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that it's pro human and it's a human. Yeah, that was interesting. I don't know enough about Yawgmoth to be like... I don't know either, to be honest. There you go. Um, but yeah, I think that's a little funny. Um, I did read the comics because of... The, uh, that other... That other go thing. ahead, plug it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was going to say was, though, uh, Yawgmoth was in the comics. Oh, what was he doing? <laughs> he was, like, scheming, but then they never referenced him again. It was literally... <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Shut up. All right. For anybody that doesn't know, our friend uh, has a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's not why I'm laughing. No, I know you're not. Uh, our friend has a YouTube channel, and uh, they do live streams like every month or every week on comic books. They did a magic comic book. They asked me to be a part of it, so it was a lot of fun, actually. Dope. Yeah, yeah. And Yogmoth was just literally, I know this sounds really funny, but <laughs> yeah, like, this is why I'm laughing. I know you are, but like literally, okay. It was like a 25 page comic. Okay. Got to page 24 and it's like, it was right after all the Thran, like the Urza and Mishra go into like, go back in time and see the Thran and all this stuff. Cool. Whatever. They come back and then Yogmoth on the last page is just like, Hmm interesting and then is never shown again in <laughs> any of the comics also is it the I can, only run they're doing confirmed oh that was like super old that comic oh that was like 90s era comic okay but like yeah Yogmoth, i'm pretty sure just doesn't show up in any more comics that's amazing i love how you put it i'm gonna save everybody time in case not that you should but in case you were thinking maybe i'd like to look back at those comic books don't they are shit i love wizards mm. but they make some dumbass decisions a lot of times beautiful beautiful yeah those comics sucked wow okay um what was he doing scheming he was just scheming <laughs> that's it that's great um, wow <clears throat> sarah got a card too dude sarah's been yeah, around sarah's there. as often as yeah but like sarah's angels have been in Forever. I'll say it every set. Yeah, so basically. Um yeah, I do like that Sarah got her own card. Like she's cool. referenced on every other angel card ever. And yeah. there you go. It's like Sarah's sister, yeah. Sarah's cousin. <laughs> like, Sarah's um ex best friend. <laughs> ex best friend. A black um, white angel that talks about you when it comes <laughs> into play. That talks about you. Uh, angel of despair. <laughs> <laughs> that actually yeah, is. <laughs> that's a card. Um there's one more for fairies. Doesn't even need to be talked about. Fuck it. We'll move on. Uh, slivers! Slivers are back, people. This is the last thing. Uh, Fairy Seer, by the way, is pretty good. Oh, Enters the Battlefield, Scry 2. Yeah, not and bad. it's one. Yeah, that's really good for one mana. One mana, one more flyer, Scry 2. Um, uh, Kess is in, too. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, you asked me if you thought Kess was good enough, if I thought Kess was good enough for modern. I don't think it is. I don't, only because it's Grixis. Um, yeah, it, it makes it difficult, right? Yeah. If. It's great once you get it, but I don't think this is a... It's too slow. Yeah, it's not a good turn four play, which I might be giving too much respect to turn four, especially in combo decks. Like, you're going to be reactive anyway. Uh, yeah. And, like, but counter their big thing. I, I just don't think there's a home for it, I to don't, be honest. I don't either. I'm like not Like, if it's just convinced. a value spell, like, because you it's get a more. lot of value out of it, right? It's win more. Yeah. yeah I mean, it, but, it, like you said, yeah, it's win more. It's like, yeah. you could just snap caster. <laughs> Do it one time, don't get repeated value, but yeah. like it's more to give efficient. every spell flashback is pretty good though. Is very good. Hundred percent um, agree. That's a very good value play on turn four when some decks are gonna be winning. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Um yeah. That's yeah, that's how I feel about it. Yeah. Okay. Well I guess, but I know. Okay. Um slivers are here. We have a new sliver commander. I think probably the best sliver commander, personally. God, yeah. Um, Are you? Yeah. Uh, absolutely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the first sliver is here. Cascade, baby. Yeah. It's Wooberg, obviously, so you get five color. 7-7 uh, seven, oh, seven with Cascade, and obviously because it's a sliver, all <laughs> other slivers also get Cascade. That's ridiculous. Mm. Commander, yeah. sliver players eat your heart out. I'll um, do it. 
I also I really like Cloud Shredder Sliver while we're here. Yeah, uh, just briefly. But that's a really strong one. It's two slivers combined. There was there's like the a flying and haste the sliver. haste one and then the flying. There's one, a few but, haste slivers like Quicksilver yeah. oh, and a yeah. few others. And if oh. you give it flying, well, there's been a blue one with flying. There's a blue one and a white a one. One one for one blue. Right. Um, Gust something. Gust wing sliver or something. Um, yeah, if you click on us, hundred percent gonna be there. Uh, but there it is. What is Gale it? Strider. Gale Strider. Damn it. Man, we weren't even Gale close. Gale Rider. Can't read. God, we're still not close. Um, regardless, though, Slivers are back. Uh, does this mean modern Slivers is a thing? No. It's already a deck. It's a jank deck. Does it make it a better deck? Good enough. With the first, or you mean... No, no, just in general. I don't okay. think the first Sliver gets played. No. Um, potentially, I'm not convinced. <clears throat> I mean, it still has the same problems. Like slivers, you give them all these abilities. Cool. If you're not, if you're not making them bigger, mm -hmm. like you have to run all the like might slivers or whatever right because they, they just die yeah. super easy because none of them get very big. Yeah. Without sliver might and like titan, some other fatty. Yeah. Some other fat ass sliver. <laughs> I don't know. Um. <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. remember. All right, the <laughs> last card Will's going to talk about, and then we'll do whatever, Kevin. We'll do whatever. We'll sum up. Fallen Shinobi. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This one's really fun. I do think you get to, like, definitely for limited, but I think there's potential to, like, to talk about ninjutsu being more relevant. I mean, yeah, I guess. It's sneaky, and I like sneaky. Um, Talk about turn four plays, baby. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty good. Um, a blue-black tempo deck, Fallen Shinobi, steal their things. Hmm. It's a 5-4. Yeah. So that's a pretty, like... It's pretty good. It's not a negligible body. No. You can't ignore her when she walks in the room. <laughs> Doesn't hey. die to bolt. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't die to bush. Sounded like you said bush. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't die to that either. It doesn't die to George Bush. <laughs> I don't know. That's where my mind went. I've been sick. Shut up. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know, dude. You know what really imagines my dragons? But that wasn't even relevant. <laughs> what I love that you tried to get political, but it wasn't even relevant. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was just... I When you said Bush, I immediately thought of George. <laughs> Did you, Kevin? Yeah. Did you think of George Bush? Thought of George. <laughs> Good old George. Good old George. Georgie. Um, okay. There are three cards we should have talked about and we haven't yet. Do it. Okay. Two new swords. Truth right. and Justice, uh, and eh. Sing, New, and Steel. Meh. Not very good. Super meh. Yeah, not super excited about that. No. Nope. Uh, new Mox. Bad. Bad Mox, you mean. Yeah. I don't like this Mox. I don't really like it. Um, I have I was trying to rationalize it, and I just can't. I just don't, I don't like it's it. very good. Um, so Moxes that are good give you a lot of mana when they are online. Yeah. It's like three mana for the big ones, right? Well, Or it's one no, mana. It's all one mana. Well, but you can play you're right, but there's but there's Gilded Lotus, which is <clears throat> five is mana to play Gilded Lotus. No, you're thinking three Lotus. Mana. Lotus Bloom. What's the one you suspend three and then comes uh, off and gives you three yeah, mana? Yeah, Lotus Bloom. Is it Lotus Bloom? But it's it's Black Lotus, so you sacrifice it. Mm -mm. Hold on. Yeah, there's one you don't sack that gives you three after it comes off suspend, right? No. Lotus Bloom, suspend zero, tap, sacrifice it. Okay, but the experience. point still stands. Like, it's a lot of mana when it comes online. Yeah. And it's good. The only this is one mana. upside to this is that it sticks around. For a mana? Cool. No, no, I get it. My my thing is the reason Moxes are good is because they ramp you in the early turns. This doesn't. <laughs> like, uh, right. That I'm, I think it's bad because of that. Like, I just don't think it's good. Like, we have Mox Opal, Chrome Mox, things yeah. like that. Mox Opal in particular that's very good in Modern, obviously. Right. That already does the job. This doesn't help at all. <laughs> no. Unless you, like, cascade bad. into it for zero. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? This would be the worst yeah, card exactly. to cascade into ever. There is a card in here. Uh, I don't remember the name. We won't talk about it very long. It's a red card. It literally just says cascade. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like three in a red and cascade or something. Fuck. Uh, which is 
really sweet. There's a there's a deck waiting for it, I'm sure. I mean, Living End. Is I remember the there. art. Hold on. Where is it? Yeah. Um, Although it doesn't really work in Living End. Uh, I also like Goat Nap just a lot. <laughs> you would. Just a lot. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Throws of Chaos. Yeah, it doesn't work in... Uh, you Living can End. retrace no. it. That was the cool part. Right, you can just cascade forever. <laughs> yeah, just be like, four mana cascade. Uh, which is cool. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's a commander deck that... Yeah, plays and it. there's some kind of random jank brew, I'm mm-hmm. sure, that's going to come out of that. Um, uh, okay, were there any others we should have talked about? Oh, there's one more. Um, <laughs> Prismatic Vista is a fetch for any basic now. Oh, yeah. Um, I think you just kind of, like, would play it in a lot of decks. Like, it yeah. helps you out against Blood Moon. Um red deck especially plays this because it's more deck thinning yeah because they're the only decks that really That's play like good point yeah they play the um evolving wilds and stuff just to just mm. as deck thinning right because that's all they need to do yeah no you're exactly right yeah. i do think i mean a lot of decks like humans for instance can't really run it because they run like one or two basics maybe yeah <laughs> um and i feel like there's probably a number of decks that are going to be in that position where they just don't run enough basics but mm, this yeah. is a well, lean towards. If that's true, then they die in a blood moon pretty well, that's easily. The thing. So I don't but, think that's true. Well, there's usually what I have found is what they normally do is they'll run like if you're a, uh, as an example, like a Jun deck or mm. something like that. Like you run, you don't need to run a basic mountain because if they do blood moon, you you've got red. Right. But you do run like a forest or a swamp or right. maybe two swamps so you can play like a damnation or something like that but like you know what i'm saying like you don't mm-hmm. generally run a high number of basics and sure. so it makes okay. like if you draw this late and you've already got your ba- this does literal nothing unless you have like two yeah. Yogmoth out or something um, i guess however what i think this could do uh because i do think that this is definitely going to see play is I think it can skew the land bases a little bit to run more basics. <laughs> oh god, it's already twenty three dollars. Twenty three dollars. Uh, I do think Fuck. that this skews the land bases a little bit to want to run more basics, and so because you can fetch out any of the colors, so it's like, yeah, well maybe I can get away with a little less shock lands and a little more. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, so, and less... that might be incorrect. I I don't know. I don't know. It just I think that this opens that door uh, where we haven't been able to before because evolving wild sucks. Um, it I do like the Horizon it Lands. Suck. Uh, also, it doesn't suck. It's just no, it doesn't suck. But it's, it's in just modern, it's bad. Slow. It's just bad. The Horizon cards are great. The lands, the land cycle. Yeah, they're um, all gonna see play in my opinion. <laughs> duh. I, there's 100%. like, there's no downside. Hundred percent. Um, yeah. I'm we just don't have any of the other ally colors, right? Which yeah. is kind of weird. Yeah, it is a little weird. We've got Horizon Canopy and then right. all the enemy colors. <laughs> Blue, white, red, white. Does that lead us to think that they're going to print the other ones? I mean, because my human brain likes patterns, yeah. Yeah. But my lizard brain's like, why, where, how? Well, I mean, another modern Horizon set? Well, like, not necessarily modern Horizon. Well, yeah, not necessarily modern Horizons, but they could get away with it. I guess. Commander. <laughs> but then you can't play it in modern, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, things to sum up very quickly. Well, so then it'd give them an option to reprint, sorry, sorry Horizon Canopy. So yeah, they, which they do need to do, because Horizon Canopy is way too fucking expensive. It's so like if there was another modern set, then that's yeah, yeah. kind of an in. Also, I will just briefly say, I'm really glad that they did include good rare lands in this mm-hmm. set. Uh, even rare basic lands with the snow lands, but like... Uh, Land in particular keeps the value of a set pretty high mm-hmm. if they're good. Sure. And we have good ones, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Yeah, um, I think it's... Uh, yes. The only reason Modern Masters 2017 was a success. Not only, but uh, kind of only. Uh, <laughs> they had Tarmogoy, they had Lily. Uh, anyway. Koi was in so many. He's been in like every like And I've only right? pulled one. <laughs> Wow, really and you've opened a million, so <laughs> damn. Uh, I did I'll, get play sets of like every fetch land. I was going to say, you got everything but a bunch of goif. Yeah. You funded a TV show and didn't get goif. <laughs> Someone send Kevin a goif. Please send me goif. Goif me. Daddy? <laughs> what were you going to say? I was going to sum up a few things. Uh, right. First thing, very, very stoked about this set. 
I do think it's going to be a lot of fun. I do think Modern is going to see some pretty interesting shifts. It's uh, just going to make worse decks better and good decks worse, that's which I'm it. fine with. Let's equalize cool. it. Uh, so let's see a variety of decks. That's all I want to do. That's what that's what my hope for this is that we see more variety yeah. in Modern. Well, I think it does. I think, I it, think takes, it helps. I think it, it punches some decks <clears throat> in the mouth with certain cards. <laughs> yeah. In the mouth. Force of Despair yeah. in particular. Yeah, yeah, you're really hyped about that one. I am. Uh, I love in particular that we have like a million different mechanics featured in this set just because I think that that's going to make Limited just weird. We've got like 45 <sighs> mechanics in this set. Or yeah, some, like, but like number. there's not enough to they're be not super like, relevant. No, but they're, it's just fun stuff. Uh, I yeah. like tribal stuff. I like the synergies there. I think changelings being in this is going to make that interesting. We didn't even talk about changelings. I had a question about a changeling, oh. actually, now that I... There's so much to talk about, guys. The talismans? Didn't talk about those? They suck. Don't talk about them. Okay. They don't suck. They're just not important. Like, where are you going to play them in modern? Commander. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but... Well, I mean... You play most of these cards in Commander, though. Well, that's fair. Uh, what, are you, what are you looking for? I'm looking for... What is his name? He's a expensive changey guy. <laughs> oh. There he is. Valiant Changeling. So, five mana, two, two. But it costs one less to cast for each creature type among creatures I control. True. Mm-hmm. Does that mean if I have another changeling out, which is every creature type, it just costs two? Two white? I don't know. Is that what that means? I don't know. Because changeling says... I don't it's know. every creature type. Right. This card is every creature type. Um, I, yeah. Right? Isn't that what that Technically, means? Technically, yeah, I think that works. Maybe that's like the payoff for the changeling deck in limited though. Is that's that, my thing is yeah, like, yeah. does that mean, does that make changelings scary enough to be played no. elsewhere? You get some pretty good ones. There though. are good ones, but I don't think they're good enough. Is uh, it a three okay. three double strike on two is pretty good. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Cause that, cause that in takes off right now. What's right the now? premier? the premier creature deck well you'd have to say humans okay does changelings beat humans with this card in particular doesn't die to fatal push does not die to fatal push that's fair they don't play bolt no they don't have a real way to deal with this other than combat and this on turn well, they two bounce it. it's tempo right they bounce it and then they uh meddling mage or do something like that i guess but for two it's already coming in like before humans get scary and what are they going to do not block six damage that's fair that's a like scary enough clock and you, i will say though you're the whole thing is built around that one card plus you know I mean? plus doesn't um their two mana changelings two mana um the mariner mm. mariner whatever mariner. It, i mean it'll counter that spell unless they play so they can't bounce it until turn four uh true i mean it does slow it down I don't know that it's good enough. I don't know. I'm not convinced, but I think it's better than I like, mean, I people like would the expect. Synergy a lot. That's sweet. I think that's scary enough because if you stick a Mariner, that means all of those Valiant Changelings, if I'm right, like are pretty freaking solid. And then there's yeah. the Changeling. Is it a Changeling or a Ninja? I'm thinking of. Hold on. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Where are you, Christmas? Where are you, Chris? It is a ninja. There was this. Oh, no, no, no. You know what? It was a changeling. It was. Um, It's this It's this effect, basically, though. So, Mist Syndicate Naga makes copies of Mist Syndicate Naga. Mm, mm-hmm. There is um, a, changeling, a, that does a changeling that does, if it deals damage, it makes copies of itself, right? Sure. <laughs> is that right? Oh no! Shoot, it's Moonblade Shinobi, but that's fine. So, <laughs> um, maybe it's a, I don't know, an amalgamation of changelings and ninjas. I'm not sure. I don't know. I think it could be better than people are giving it credit for. I agree. I think it could be better than people are giving it credit for. <laughs> that was specific. <laughs> I don't think it's good enough to beat humans, though. No, probably not, because that's just two cards. I mean, yeah, that's is two thing, cards like, enough of a check to beat them? I don't humans know. is consistent enough that. <laughs> yeah, where are the other changes? I love here? new Graveshifter, by the way. 
It's literally great just card. a changeling. Great card. Version of Gravedigger. Yeah, great card. Love it. Um, anyway, the set's going to be good. We harped on this like forever. And there's still a million more things that we need to talk about, but we're not going to. Um, uh, oh, no, wait. I do have to talk about one more thing. Damn yeah. it. Bears. Oh, bears are bears? a thing. <laughs> Commander just, bears. Commander bears are a thing. I'm not so stoked else. about that. Not anywhere else. No, not right. anywhere else. But I do really right? like that they made bears good. Yeah. There is a hate bear that hates on artifacts. It's pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, the like legendary bear is really sweet. The mama bear? Mama kind of good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like mama bear. I mean, that's what I'll call her no matter what everyone else calls her. I don't yeah, care. of course. It's mama bear. Um, hmm. All right. Have we harped enough on this? Can we um, say that we harped enough? We still got open packs. Oh shit! Yeah. Um. Oh, I want Dead Boy. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. We're done. Regardless, Modern Whew. Horizons gonna be good. We should have uh, had notes. Yeah, we should have had notes. I definitely should have had notes. Uh, <laughs> we uh we will be doing a giveaway for Modern Horizons probably uh starting at the end of this week, like on Friday. I think it's the plan. Uh, so be stoked. I guess I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm excited about it. It's gonna be good. Uh, yeah. Also, we have our Kraka packs. So these are sponsored by Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. Their link uh, to their Facebook group is down below. Highly, highly suggest checking them out uh, because they are very, very nice people and very awesome to work with. Yes. And we are on the hunt for Nicol Bolas. Uh, we both are. Whoever gets them first wins. I didn't get them. I got totally lost. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got Fibble Thip. Yeah. I got widespread brutality. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> yeah, I think I take widespread brutality. Um, I'm looking through the rest of the pack. Heartwarming Redemption is pretty interesting. But no, I think I take widespread brutality. That card's just way too good. Fibble Thip's good, though. Mm. He's a fun card. Um, I think I take... Vizier of the Scorpion. Oh, all my very, very mass good. tokens have Death Touch. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of nice. That's really nice. That's super good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> a mass just coming out. A mass is great. Being strong. Yeah, yeah. I really like Quatly it. Quatly. Yeah, I got my Plains Vaca. I got the Wanderer. There we go. I don't really like the Wanderer. I Dang. think she's terrible. I don't um, know. What? Why? She exiles things if for a greater power, right? Yeah, that's good. Me, yeah. that's good. I mean, it's good in that's some really cases. Good. That's I've uh, I've not yeah. been very impressed. I'm talking constructed standard. Oh well, she doesn't okay. get played in constructed. I've been playing arena a lot, guys. In case you haven't noticed, no, she doesn't get played in constructed. But um, the Kogari Citadel deck. Dude. Oh, dude. Oh yeah. In that, in that in that the new hotness. So fun. That's the new hotness. It's not even like everybody knows about it now, and it's like probably not even very good. But it's Are so you it's well. I just think there's faster decks. That's all. But like, yeah, but there's not stronger decks. No, that deck is goes sweet. Off. It's like a Snorlax, man. Get up to the mic. What you doing? It's like a Snorlax, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, this has been a rambly episode, guys. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff to talk about, but it's been we're off on schedule because we're off on a week now. So we're gonna do it every other week from here on out. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, we are. Well, I don't know. We'll God, figure it I'm out. tired. I'm tired. This too. is a long episode. <laughs> so long. Kevin, this is like an hour and a half. Was it? I think. <laughs> Damn, you're right. Maybe. I can't tell. Um <laughs> I think we're gonna get out of here, guys. Oh shit balls. What? Fuck a duck. But we didn't talk about popper banning. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it. We didn't. Hey, Google it. Popper, <laughs> some cards got banned. What were the cards? Gush and um, another one. I think. Okay. I don't think it was Days, but it might have been Days. <laughs> oh my God! There's been so much. Man, we take a three week break, two week break, really, and all of a sudden we miss everything. <laughs> yeah, I forget. I'm checking. Cool. Do it. Sorry, my internet's a poopy head. <laughs> poopy head i have a kid dude <laughs> it happens 
<laughs> oh, this doesn't tell me what was recently done. I don't know. Some cards were banned, guys. That's all that matters. Just play Popper. Oh, Gataxian Probe, Gush, and Days. That's right. They were all banned. It was Days. Shit. Yeah, yeah. it was Days. Uh, Telling you, man. Makes uh, Delver a lot worse. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a big check to Popper. Uh, yeah. It's a big... I mean, hit. Delver was pretty pretty takeovery. Yeah, it was the best. Yeah. The best. I mean, that's the uh that's the combo broken, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um big bummer. I don't play popper enough to know what the big decks are to be honest. That's just blue. Oh, okay. I mean, that explains a lot. Like all the three cards. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Um all right. Can we end this episode? This has been so long. No, I won't let you. This is what hell is. You're being punished for your hubris. All right. Well, how's your day going? <laughs> It was bad. <laughs> was it? Tell me about your it day, was, Will. It wasn't bad. I'm just tired. I'm um, sorry. What happened? Work. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> then I came home and took a nap <laughs> after I got the baby. So I took a 40-minute nap, that which is bad. not long enough no, that's something. to fix my body <laughs> that is tired. Uh, it just wasn't, wasn't there. Wasn't there? Didn't do it for me. Um, then I made some beef quesadillas hmm. with Sounds cilantro yummy. and tomates. Eh. Two kinds of cheese. Very nice. Wait, what kinds of cheese? Monterey Jack. Good. And white cheddar. Good. I ain't no little bitch boy. And then we <laughs> had, uh, I made a corn y tomato and lime salsa to go with it. Sprinkled it be on top. Of those quesadillas. Mm-hmm. Just went to town. Went to town, huh? Yep. And you came over here and recorded this podcast. I did. For the last hour. <laughs> I did. Um, this has been like the longest episode. We really should have taken notes. You that know was what? our mistake. The longer episode and still a mistake to this day, kind of related, was the um, set review the we full did. set review. <laughs> Wasn't that a live stream? Shit, it was. We live streamed a full set review. And we got towards the end, we were like, oh, this is crazy. This one's not very good. good. Uh, <laughs> that one's okay. <laughs> you'll play it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, like, nobody watched it. Which nobody's watching this at this point. That's the thing. That's my hope. Because if they are. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, you didn't make me laugh. You broke my rhythm. <laughs> I got nothing. If, All right. If anything we're else, done. It's poop. All right. Guys, thanks for sticking around if you did. I hope you're enjoying uh, or looking forward to, I should say, Modern Horizons and all the new changes that are coming because there's a lot of interesting stuff on the serious note. There's a lot of cool stuff. What a great metaphor for human existence. Yeah. We're talking so earnestly to people who were no longer listening. Yeah. No one will ever hear this. That's been the past two years of it results. Uh, we're, we're the tree in the forest <laughs> that nobody hears. But we do make a sound. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Ah! (laughs) That's the sound. (laughs) Guys, we're going to get out of here. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. This has been It Resolves or something similar. And it was like, Jet fuel don't melt steel beams. (laughs)